Now, there's an issue here about valuing a teacher. How do you value a teacher? I think the teachers are handicapped today so that they can't achieve their full potential. So they look marginal. In my day, they, will, they had authority in the classroom. The school was their domain. They spank you. And when you go home and complain to your parents, you get spanked again. I recall I got some real big lashes across my back and my back was kind of swollen up. So I told my parents, I said, you need to go and talk to these people. They said, well, look, what's the problem? I didn't do my homework. Well, why didn't you do your homework? If you don't want it to beat you, do your homework. <laughs> that was a, that was a kind of couple. I came and go and you know, let's go and talk to this teacher. But then there were other students who, whose parents would come and talk to the teacher, and they would go on and don't hit my son again, or else I can, you know I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna bust the face. And these guys eventually, I just started to ignore them, and um, and they weren't. I'm not sure the whole dynamics, but they end up just dropping the school uh, without an education here being. Uh, you know, they were in a poor school anyway, to an affordable high school, and you go up to 16 and age drop off. They, they train you basic uh, things. And uh, if you fall short of that, well, that will be literacy. And um, so there's where they ended. Now, these teachers can't do that. And uh, I taught in the United States, California, Florida, and sometimes you don't have no authority. One day we were watching a video, and I'm up front, and somebody threw something and hit me in the head. Now, I was warned in another school in Florida not to turn it back to the students because they will do your things. But I never thought that they were that great or want to call it, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, plus, they, they, I mean, I, I recall in Florida, in California, some students were telling me, we like you as a teacher. We, we wish you could be our teacher. And the reason was that I could, you know, show them where the thing came from and what it really means and how to use it in life, etc., etc. And the other teachers can't do that. So um, I was telling them, I said, well, I mean, you might like me, but um, I'm different. And you don't want to be different like me. You don't want to spend 20 hours a day, a week studying. Um, you're not going to be all your waking hours thinking about studying stuff. You're not going to get up Sunday morning at 6 o'clock and study. You know, oh, why don't I have this good idea and whatever. On holidays, you're going to want to be a 12 o'clock writing some ideas down and so on. And um, just like how you went to school, you didn't know anything, you just know where to find it, that's where the teachers are. So you can't expect them to be better. And in fact, you would be just like them if you were to become a teacher. So, um, why didn't teachers today is hard, especially in America. Um, we need to find a way where we could have some discipline in schools where teacher has authority and could back it up and get things done and um, students are eager to learn and um, challenging the teachers because a lot of times too the teacher is just a, facilitate, a facilitator teacher is not the role model in the sense of scholarship and, and limits uh, I mean every generation God uh, throws out some new ideas or spawn new ideas and people who are prepared and ready could see them grab them and run out with them teacher might not be in this new era in which these things are different, but they're dealing with some basic things you have to do. And, um, you know, you challenge yourself to the next level. Um, it, it's tough, but still, um, we need to value them. Because even though I might be gifted, you might be gifted, we just can't look down and teach because it's just like a parent. I've got a college kind of parents then, but they have experiences which I don't have. And a lot of things that I learned in school, they learn from experience. So uh, we need to, you know, be humble and to value people appropriately and so on. And um, you realize that they have the whole picture. And even though they might not have a specific sort of a vein that I have, generally they might still be able to guide you and, 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 and you know, with some good um, mind and a good heart, they could help you on in spite of. So uh, in spite of the situation that I just described, still, we need to value them as people who have um, dedicated their lives to um, pass on some information and experiences, cultural transformation from one generation to the next. I know in, um, in Asia, uh, especially like in Japan and so forth, the age they are valued, and um, I guess in the West we value the young. Um, they're valued for the experiences they have, and uh, they've lived a, a good life. 
uh, especially if they are crazy in criminal. And, um, so we have to get to the place where we value not only teachers but the adults in society. And children should know their place and um, be willing to learn. And even though uh, you know you know the stuff, I mean, they're going to come to a place where you don't know. See, so just be patient and just uh, value your teacher.